uh, we have we have done an example of subtracting. We've done an example of multiplying. We've done an example of dividing. But we, we've done that for the skill level of fractions. Now, the way fractions are going to show up on the test are in word problems. It's going to be charts. It's going to be graphs. And they're going to show you different numbers. And so we're going to work through those uh, to, to focus on what you're going to see on the test. So question number one. Benito. Uh, okay, Benito. The, uh, right Benito earns $20 per hour. Pretty good sum of money. Jeez. <laughs> he gets time and a half when he works over eight hours in a work day. Okay? What fraction of his total hours of the week were overtime hours? Now, there is a two step process that we really focus on in this class. Did we do this question before? Yeah. Uh, different, uh, no, I have it. Different different. Different. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Whether you did or you didn't, we're doing it again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Step one is identifying the question. Step two is stating your path. Okay? So the, so the key thing you want to do is you want to be able to put in your own words. So on this worksheet, I want you to go ahead and know what you think the question is. I'm going to give you a minute. I got it. Okay, shout it out. What do you think? Uh, what fraction of his total hours of the week were Beautiful. overtime hours? That, that's the question. The very first thing you got to know in that, though, uh, right, Sharon, is that they're, they're, they're wanting your answer in what form. How is your final answer going to look? It's a fraction. A fraction. So right there on that sheet, you should put a fraction bar. Because your answer need, needs to look like this, because they said what fraction? Okay, they said what fraction of what? His total hours. So that goes on bottom, right? We're overtime. That goes on top. So we want to know the fraction of his overtime hours to his total hours. Am I right about it? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just by doing that, you, you eliminate a lot of error. You eliminate a lot of uh, possibility of, 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 of you getting the problem wrong because you've already set it up how it's going to look. You might not know these numbers yet, but you can. So that takes us to the second thing we do, which is state your path, which is just a way of saying with the information you're given, how are you going to get there? So let's go ahead and do it. How are we going to find the total hours, Tommy? We're going to add them up. Monday. Shout it out. 8.5. Tuesday. 9.25. Plus Wednesday. 11.5. Plus Thursday. 9.25. Plus Friday. 12.5. That is a total of 51 hours. Where do I put the 51? Uh, bottom. Bottom. Total hours. Now, how much overtime did he work? 40 hours So 40 hours is regular, right? 8 yeah. times 5. Yeah, see, we're, we're clicking. <laughs> So then the overtime is 11. 11. Beautiful. What's our answer? 11 over 51. Answer C. So you can see, if you go through these steps, it makes solving these questions when you have the charts or the stuff a whole heck of a lot easier than if you just try to jump in and say, man, what was that? I don't remember how to do that. I don't know what this means and all that kind of stuff. You just start by breaking it down. 